What's up everybody? I'm David, your youth ministry leader, and again, we would like to welcome you to this Midweek Devo. What's up everybody? I hope your week is going awesome, and we're going to tackle a question this week. What exactly does it mean to be a Christian? Now, does being a Christian um, exclusively include being nice to people or doing good things or even going to church as much as you want to? Not exactly. Those things are a byproduct of what it means to be a Christian. Now, we all know that to uh, be accepted into God's family, we have to accept Christ in our life as our Savior. But we also have to do something after that. And what we have to do is, is we have to reside in God's spirit and chase a marriage-like relationship with him. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 9 through 10, Paul writes, But just as it is written, Things which eye has not seen and ear has not heard, and which have not entered the heart of man, all that God has prepared for those who love him. For to us God revealed them through the Spirit, for the Spirit searches all things, even the depths of God. So along with accepting Christ as our Savior, we have to reside in God's Spirit. That's what being a Christian is all about. Because we can come to church as often as we want to, and we can claim to know God. But without residing in His Spirit, and letting His Spirit change our life and minds so we can act out our faith, uh, that'll lead you to trouble. Now, how can we make sure that we are doing what we are supposed to? Now, after accepting Christ, we have to reside in God's Spirit. And the way we do that is by praying and connecting with God daily and reading our Bibles and uh, learning about His teachings and applying it to our everyday lives. And that's how we end up acting out our faith. By doing these things, the byproducts of being a Christian, like doing good things and being nice to people and going to church, that'll automatically come out and shine through your life like a light in the darkness, like we're reading in Matthew uh, chapter 5, verse 14. Now, but we can't claim to know God if we're not residing in His Spirit. Because earlier in that chapter, Paul tells us that a natural person cannot understand the things of God because God reveals them through His Spirit. And that's where my challenge comes to you for this week. My challenge for you is to quit focusing on the byproducts of being a Christian and focus actually on what makes you a Christian. Ask yourself, have you accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior? If you have, then what we have to do is move on to the second part and start residing in God's Spirit and build that relationship with Him. And like I said, the way we do that, it's like a marriage. You've got to communicate uh, with your partner in a marriage or if your boyfriend and girlfriend, you've got to communicate with your partner. It's the same way with God and we do that by prayer. That's how we connect. We connect vertically with God. And then... We start digging into the Bible and learning His teachings and, and, and the ways that God tells us to live so we can apply it to our lives and act out our faith. And in doing that, that's how we know we are truly being a Christian and abiding in God's Spirit and allowing our light to shine in the darkness. Now, if you're watching this and you have not accepted Christ as your Savior and you want to know more about it, please reach out to us. We would be more than happy to talk with you about that and walk you through that step so you can enjoy eternal, everlasting life with us. Again, my name is David. I hope the rest of your week goes awesome. I hope you crush everything you're doing this week. We cannot wait to see you Friday. We love each and every one of you. And this has been your Midweek Devo. Mm -hmm.